Okay, it's a little before 6 o'clock. I'm going to get up and go on my outdoor workout. Okay, ready to go on my walk. Guys, I'm tired. I, that's what I say every morning, but I really am. Okay, I'm almost done with my walk. It's like, I'm at like 41 minutes or something. I'm freezing. I'm wearing shorts, because I always wear shorts in the morning. I just checked the temperature, it's 49 degrees. I like just took my phone out so my hands out of my pocket, but the whole time I've had my hands like scrunched up into my sweatshirt, I'm freezing. Just got home from my walk. I drank a water bottle on my walk, so I just refilled it. And I'm gonna take my little probiotic. I love drinking three of my water bottles before I leave work. And then that way I just have well, I have one more water bottle left, and then I also have eight ounces, but the eight ounces I can just like chug, like that's easy. But then my last water bottle I usually drink during my night workout. When I was on my walk, I actually bought tickets for Gals on the Go, because they just announced that they're coming to Tampa. So I bought a ticket for that, I'm excited. And then I listened to the Real AF podcast with Andy. He's the person that made 75 Hard and he's intense like he's very very intense but honestly i feel like if you're doing 75 hard like you sh really should listen to his podcast because i had just heard about 75 hard through tiktok and i had even decided i was like yeah i'm gonna do 75 hard and i didn't even know like who created it i just knew it was like a thing and i like had even googled like 75 hard to like see the rules and everything but I don't know, maybe I didn't look that hard into it, but nothing with him. I like I didn't even know who he was, and then my friend Olivia was like, oh my gosh, like you're doing 75 hard, like you need to listen to his podcast. So I listened to uh, his first podcast on the day that I started 75 hard, and it will make you like want to follow the rules. Like I remember before I started, I was, because you're not supposed to do your two workouts back to back. You're like supposed to do them separately it wouldn't have to be like as separated as mine are like my first like my walk is like at six in the morning and then tonight i'm going to 7 30 p.m pilates it does not have to be like that like i feel like you could do like an 8 a.m walk and then like a noon workout like it doesn't have to be like completely spread out like mine are but you're not supposed to like go on a 45 minute walk and then come inside and work out they're supposed to be like two separate workouts and I remember before I started, I was like, oh, well, if I have to do the two workouts together, like, I'll just do that. It's fine. Like, I'm really busy. And then you listen to his podcast and you're like, nope, I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to do them separately because, like, you know, it makes you, like, want to do it right. But it is intense. I will warn you. Like, it feels like you're getting kind of yelled at, but it's it's good. I like it. But definitely, I feel like some people wouldn't like it. But it's like he's the one that made the 75 hard challenge. So you should listen to him. But Okay, I'm gonna change. It's early. It's only 7.03. So I am gonna go change really quick and get ready and then probably try to leave by 7.15. Let's see if I can do it. I'm about to head to work. I'm so cold. I can't believe I was walking in shorts. I'm like actually freezing. So I put on a sweater and then also this jacket. But yeah, I'm heating up my eggs. I'm gonna eat two eggs on the way to work and then work until probably 6 30. brand ever like the first one ever. listening to the toast on my way to work and then i have my eggs i had some extra like cut up onions from these like lettuce wraps i made this weekend so i put them in my eggs because i was like oh i might as well use them it's not bad but i won't be doing that again i prefer them just plain eggs with pepper <laughs> It's been a long day at work. It's 6.52. I basically, oh my gosh. I'm signed up for Pilates at 7.30. I'm just now leaving work. I'm literally in the work parking lot. 
Okay, I'm gonna get to camp at 7.15. And my class starts at 7.30. So that's perfect. I heat it up. I mean, these are actually pretty good. It's this like Jimmy Dean. It's like a little bowl, but it's basically turkey sausage, egg white, potatoes, and a little bit of cheese. I need to stir it up, but I just heated that, that up at the office so I can eat it in the car. Lately, I've been coming to my car on my lunch break, but I was really busy today, hence why I'm like just now leaving and like rushing out. So I like just ate really quick at work. So I haven't read yet. That means I'll have to read when I get home. And I didn't show you my lunch, but it's what I cooked. Well, I didn't cook it. I air fried the broccoli yesterday, but the chicken was already cooked. It was, I would just cut it up. It was the Trader Joe's lemon pepper chicken. These things are pretty good. And I feel like they're not like that bad for you. It's like turkey sausage, egg whites, and like there's potatoes, but not even that much. And there's cheese, but not even that much. A guy in there was like, you're heating up food? I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna get home till nine. I have to eat. Okay, I'm gonna head to my workout. I'm doing Pilates Sculpt with my favorite instructor, Summer. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> six I still haven't put my laundry away but guys I left the house today at like what time was that probably a little bit before 7 30 and I got home at like 9 p.m so I'm like this can be done on Friday night or Saturday morning but yeah it's 10 o'clock now I need to read my pages my 10 pages I just finished my water and I showered brushed my teeth and now I'm in bed. I need to think what I'm gonna do Tomorrow I think I'm just gonna do because I have like an event thing after work I think what I'm gonna do is do my regular like morning walk and then I'll go to my event thing and then sorry. I keep like moving my hand in front of the camera I'll work out at my apartment gym at night I kind of wanted to run this morning, but when it's so cold, I like have no like motivation. Like I'm honestly thinking about wearing sweatpants on my walk tomorrow because I was really cold this morning. So I don't think running will be happening tomorrow, but I want to wake up earlier. I almost want to wake up at five, but I don't know. I need to read my chapters. Well, I mean, you'll see what time I wake up tomorrow, but. I'm literally gonna read this and then go to bed. So hopefully I can be like trying to go to bed by 10.30 because yeah, I need that. Guys, I was such a flop with vlogging today. This is the first time I'm picking up the camera. It's 8.06, but it's because I woke up so early. I was in such a bad mood this morning. I was mad at the world. I was like, I'm gonna quit. I. I I was like, I literally have such a headache. Like, I have a busy day at work. I had to be at work by 7.30. I was like, I can't. But I did it. Yeah, but I did it. And I still need to do my gym workout. I have one more bottle of water. And then I have to read my 10 pages. So basically, the only thing I did was my walk. So you didn't miss much because it's always dark out anyways. But I gotta get this in so I can go get a spray tan. Woo! Also, I had an event after work from 5.30 to 7. And then, yeah. So, it was like... It was a lot today. But... It's 8 o'clock. We're in here now. And we're gonna get it done. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's 6.23. I'm trying to get a move on so I can get outside. Um, it's raining outside, so if you don't know, I live in Florida, I live in St. Pete, and it, that I've always thought like, oh, I'm kind of lucky, well not kind of, I'm super lucky, that was 75 hard, 
when I go on a walk, like even yesterday I would like wore shorts, I was like, I'm cold. It was like 50 something and it's like, if I had worn pants, I wouldn't have been cold. I always think like 75 hard is a little bit easier for me because the weather here is like not freezing. Like I'm from Seattle and it rains there every day. So like your outdoor walk would be in the rain every day. And I guess in the summer here, it would be really hot. So it's like, I guess there's different things, but I hate the cold. And so I'm like, I'm lucky that it's not freezing, but today it's raining. And I was like, oh, should I do my, should I do my walk after work? Um, since like it's raining. And then I was like, I got a spray tan last night. I have to shower it off this morning. Oh my God. My eyes are like red. I, when I woke up, I could hear that it was raining outside and I was like, oh, should I just do my walk after work? But I don't really like have time to go to the gym right now. So it's like, then I have to do both my workouts after work, but they're supposed to be three hours apart. So then I was like, I'm not going to get home till like six. So I'm not going to, if I went on my walk right away, I'd finish at 6.45. That would mean I'm not supposed to go to the gym till 9.45. Like I was like, this is like, no, like that's not going to work. I'm going to go now because... We gotta get it done, okay? So, let me just grab a hair tie and then, I'm wearing sweatpants because it's kind of chilly. I wore shorts yesterday and I was freezing. So, sweatpants today. Me literally two minutes into my walk steps in a giant puddle because it's pitch black and I couldn't see it on my shoes wet. You can only see me right now because I'm under a light post. But as I get walk away, it's gonna get completely dark. But yeah, I walked directly into a puddle. It's actually not really raining anymore. It's like a tiny, tiny bit, like the tiniest drizzle, but it's actually not bad. But you can't see me, so I'm gonna go. I'm in the car on my way to work. I feel like I never used to really eat breakfast, unless like randomly one day I woke up really hungry, but I wouldn't really eat breakfast. But now since I'm like waking up earlier, and like going on a walk and stuff like a 45 minute walk it's like longer than you think i don't know like i used to go on walks in my neighborhood a lot but like i don't think 45 minutes is pretty long but so yeah i had those eggs i was making like two eggs the night before and then like heating them up in the microwave and eating them in the car but i didn't have time last night so i was like looking i was like what do i have like i don't have bread or anything for toast but i had my old reliable chomps I literally eat at, I eat like one of these every day this is not my favorite this used to be my favorite the turkey but now since I've tried the pepperoni turkey one which I've only been able to find online I've never seen it in person so I order it from Amazon I like can't believe it's Friday I'm like shocked it does not feel like it I don't have any plans tonight, except I'm going to stop by the mall on my way home to return a couple things, then I have to do my night workout, but I think I'm just going to chill, like honestly, I get pretty tired, but I feel like a little bit more refreshed this morning, I don't know why, like I feel better waking up today than I did like yesterday and stuff, so that's good, but yeah, chill night in tonight for sure, watch TV probably try to pick up my apartment a little bit but just definitely staying home i was at work till about six and then i stopped by the mall and then i stopped by target to return something at the mall pick some pick up my like target drive up order and now i'm home it's probably like 7 30 i am hungry so i'm gonna eat my dinner before i go to the gym and stuff i'm just gonna go to my apartment gym in a little bit but i thought i would show you what i made so we worked through lunch today so my i'm gonna say my boss but it's not really my boss i don't know but basically people at work bought us lunch and so i got like a like pulled chicken sandwich and then a side of green beans so i feel like that was pretty good and then now i'm eating okay at target they have this chopped caesar salad and i love it because of how chopped it is i feel like normally if you buy like a caesar salad kit it's just like pieces of romaine or even if you buy like a bag of romaine and i know that you could like chop it up really small yourself but i'm kind of lazy this is the salad and it's just chopped up really small that i love it and then oh my point of bringing up lunch was that i brought 
chicken and broccoli but honestly i don't really feel like eating the broccoli so i just took out the chicken this is the lemon pepper grilled chicken from trader joe's that i always get i don't really want to put it in the salad so i'm just gonna eat it on the side but i just picked up this salad and i love it so i was like eh, i'd rather have the chicken and a salad than and not have the broccoli so this is what I'm having. Yeah, I'm gonna chill here, maybe watch an episode of a show, maybe Emily in Paris. Oh, you can see me on the TV, hi. But yeah, I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then I'll show you when I go to the gym. I was <laughs> just like legit, I'm not joking, jumping around and dancing around my apartment. It's like a little bit after nine. I swear with 75 hard, I get so much energy at night. Like legit so much energy at night. Like I have, I'm so hyper right now, I have so much energy, and that's perfect because I have to go to the gym, I haven't done my night workout yet, so it's 9.25, so I'm gonna finish after 10 p.m., but that's fine, I'm just gonna come home, shower, read my 10 pages, and then watch TV, so that's totally fine, but yeah, if anyone's doing 75 hard, let me know, and this isn't like, I don't know, I mean, there's definitely certain days where I feel like exhausted, like Thursday night, I was like, or wait, was it Thursday night? Or maybe it was Wednesday night. I don't know. I was like so pooped, but then like some nights I just get like, like so much energy, which is actually so nice since I have to go to the gym now, but yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm highly doubt anyone else will be in there. So I'll be able to film. Oh my God, I just put my AirPods in to walk over to the gym and they're dead. So now I really, really hope no one's in there, which I'm like 95% sure no one will be. And if no one's in there, then I can just listen to my phone out loud, so it's fine. But I put them in and did the do 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 And I was like, <gasps> but luckily it's like literally 9.30 on a Friday. Like I doubt anyone else will be in there. Okay, so I'm here. I've been here for a while. Uh, I was actually surprised when I got here, someone else was here. There was another girl working out, but I think she was like, she was like pretty heavy into her workout. So I walked on the treadmill. I did like, I didn't do this on purpose, but I guess I did three, six, 20. Cause I was going three speed, six incline. And then I just ended up going for 20 minutes, which was a mile. And then she left, but I'm editing a TikTok on my phone. So I think I'm gonna sit on the spin bike and spin for a little bit until I edit the TikTok. And then I'm gonna do more of a workout. But yeah, I was like, wow. Like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no one's gonna be there. And then someone was here. But she left, so now I'm alone. But I, now I'm like heavy into editing this TikTok. I just gotta finish. But look how tan I am. Because I got a spray tan last night. I mean, it's not real, but. Okay, I just finished. But yeah, I did 20 minutes on the treadmill. And then I was gonna just do a little bit on the bike while I finished that. Um... Sorry, my breath. I finished that TikTok. But then my stomach started to really hurt. And I don't know why, but. I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna sit on the bike and like, I did it for 25 minutes. I was only gonna do it for like 10, but I was like, oh my God. Like, I can't think about like standing up and doing like a full on workout because my stomach hurts. So I did it for another 15 minutes. So 20 on the treadmill, 25 on the bike. Nothing too crazy, but I still got it and it's still good. And then now I'm just gonna, Go home. I don't know why my stomach started hurting all of a sudden, but it does. So I still got my workout in. Now I just have to go read my 10 pages and I'm starting a new book today.